Hey what's up guys, back again with another video. This episode I'm going to teach you how to make a Discord bot. Okay guys, so um, this is a new little series that I'm going to be doing where I just, you know, play around with Java. Um, you know, Discord bots, it's a API that I found on the interwebs. It's called JDA Java Discord uh, API. I'll put all the links in the description for anything you need, so don't worry. But yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is teaching you how to make a bot, basically, and like different kinds of bots, actually, but we're going to start basic, and you know, we're going to make our first bot this episode, and the next episode, we're going to move on to more advanced stuff like actual hardcore coding. But, uh... If you look in, you know, many, like, uh, Discord channels or, uh, I believe they're called channels, yeah, Discord servers, um, you can see stuff like this. We have these bots that sometimes, well, the most popular bot are bots that play music. There's many types of bots. You can do many things. You can get the bots to talk to you. You can, uh, do many things, all right? So, yeah, um, if you want to look more into bots, you know, just, uh, do some research while you're not watching this video. Pause the video, leave a like, and then do your research, and then come back. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me. So let's go ahead and get started, really. Um, let's go ahead and create a new test server here. Uh, we're going to create a server. We'll call it um, Discord. We'll call it, uh, hmm, Cody's, Cody's Test Server. Okay. And, yeah, so that's good. Cody's Test Server. Okay, cool. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and uh, minimize this for now. We don't need it yet. And we're going to create our first bot, okay? So um, go ahead and do a file new project. And once this pops up, you're going to want to select Maven, okay? I'm going to use Maven, but you can also use um, uh, Groovy, I believe. Uh, what's the other method of doing it? Let me see. Maven and Gradle. It's not Groovy. Uh, Gradle. So you can you can either use Maven or Gradle, but I'm going to use Maven because that's the only one I understand, and I barely understand it, but the point is we're using Maven. So go ahead and click Next. I'm using Java 10, by the way. And then, um, so now we need a group ID. The group ID is basically just your a package name, okay? And so um, I'm just going to name it me dot illuminati productions you could do the same thing not me dot illuminati productions but you could do um me dot and then like your name or your username or something like that your gamer tag whatever you want to do okay so um yep and then you need an artifact id which is basically just your project's name so we're going to name a bot we'll say uh bot one okay so that's our first bot so that's what we'll call it for now and yeah um okay save it wherever you want to save it uh, I'm going to save it here. Okay, cool. So, yeah, now press finish. The project directly, directory design is this. Uh, okay, sounds good to me. Okay, so that's good. Now that's created. So I'm just going to click auto import, enable auto import, because um, I don't really know what it does, but it sounds good to me, so I'll click it. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, the first thing we have to do is actually import the uh, API itself. So to do that, we're going to have to copy some stuff from this little website here. This is the uh, the API's webpage, okay, on GitHub. I'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description for you. And so it gives us the important code snippets we need to enable this or to um, get the API on our uh, project, right? So the first thing we want to do is copy this dependency code here. I'm going to move it to my other screen. And so make a new thing, de dependencies, okay? And then paste this inside of here, okay? And ignore this error for now. So that's how we add that. And the next thing we're going to do is add repositories. And then if we go back here, and then copy this, and then move it back, and paste it here, then we're good to go on that, okay? So all we have to do now is now uh, put the version here. So we, we replace this with the version that we want to import. So if we go here... The version we can see that the latest the latest version is 3.8.0 underscore 436. So I'm going to type that in. So make sure you do that also. Um, 3.8.0 underscore 436. Okay. So from that point on, it's going to start auto importing it for you, and then you're good. You're going to be good to go. Okay. So we're going to open up this file structure here. Go to main, and then in Java. Okay. We can start coding. Okay. So 
we're going to make a new class here. We're going to call this class um, bot because it's just our main class, so we can call it whatever we want, really. Um, so, yeah. Okay, inside of the bot class, we're going to have a main method, of course, because, you know, there has to be a main method whenever you're running a Java program, of course. So, we're going to do public static void main string args and then uh, like that okay and then um, let's see what else so now we're actually going to be able to create the bot now so we can um, we can establish the bot with one line of code so let's go ahead and do that okay so JDA and then you can name this whatever you want just call it JDA usually so import that also so alt enter to auto import or whatever and then equals new uh, JDA builder JDA builder and then it takes a parameter and the parameter is going to be your token and we'll get to that in a second so skip that for now and then the next thing is build okay so it's a method right here so make sure you have the build method on the end and there you go so we get a little error here because it says unhandled exception so what we have to do here is add throws exception okay so now that goes away and we're good to go okay but we can't quite start yet we need to actually uh, generate the bot using the uh, discord uh, developer portal so on, on the actual discord website we have to make our own bot here so uh, let's go ahead and do that okay so so the first thing you want to do is create a new application and we're going to call it um, let's call it um, let me think uh, I don't know Java bot doesn't really matter what you call it and then you could set a picture for it if you want to you can do anything you want really um, let's see make sure you save changes here and then we're gonna go to the bot tab okay so we're gonna make a new bot so add bot uh, yes that's okay so a wild bot has appeared good okay cool and then we can name the bot if we want to I'm just gonna keep it as Java bot and then uh, here's our token that we need so we're gonna go uh, click to reveal you can copy it manually or you can just press copy here and then we can go back to our program and then paste it in here and then we're good to go okay but not quite yet okay so what we need to do is make sure this is enabled by the way make sure it's public so that your server uh, or so that your bot can join any server or whatever or be added by anyone okay and then um, also go to OAuth2 and then let's find this here um, you basically want to um, click whatever scope that you want to and then um, I'm just going to do bot because I don't really know what these mean quite yet but just click bot and then you can click um, all the permissions that you want your bot to have I just want mine to be an administrator meaning it has every permission so yeah so then we copied this link okay and then we paste it in the in the our um, in our browser and then we can now add the bot to our server okay so we can add it to Cody's test server awesome and we could check to see if it's an administrator or not like we can allow it to be an administrator or not and then authorize and then click this and we're good to go so now the bot is actually added to our discord and we can actually see that it says a java bot has spawned in the server so awesome it really worked and we can actually see here that it says java bot but it's offline why is it offline well um well we didn't actually start the bot yet so if you want to actually run this we can do that because we already put the token in and we already have this code here so we can actually run this but uh, we can't we can't exactly run it because we haven't uh, enabled configuration so um, well we could I think we could just right click here and then do run main so we can run the main method and that should work and yeah it's a lot of red so you might think it's an error but it actually works so it says finish loading login successful awesome so let's go ahead and check our thing now and the bot is online awesome it worked so yeah that's really exciting to be honest um, so I hope you're as excited as I am to continue the series. I know this was a simple episode, but, you know, we established our bot. And then we can, uh, you know, start coding next episode. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you go, make sure that you check in the description for all the code from this episode. I'll leave you a link. And, uh, yeah.